What happens when a massive shark attacks a submarine at the bottom of the ocean? That's enormous. And why would a shark even attack a submersible in the first place? In this video, we are going to explore this one in a million encounter and get to the bottom of what really happened. In 2019, a team of deep sea researchers headed to the bottom of the Bahamas. There, several giant sharks are feeding. What happens next is completely unheard of. The six skill sharks change their behavior. They come over to the submersible, begin bumping into it, and actually trying to eat this submarine. Wow! My goodness. <laughs> That's enormous. Look at the length of that thing. He is wider than the, the sub. sub is long. Just to show size and scale, I have two very silly toys right here. Silly, but accurate. If you were sitting in this little sub, this is the size of the shark that would be attacking you. Might look silly, but that is pretty terrifying when you're a mile under the sea. Now, the real question is why? This is not a Hollywood movie where fictitious sharks attack giant submarines just because they feel like it. This is real life and real science. So something had to drive this shark into a state that would make it want to attack a metallic submarine filled with researchers. So a couple reasons come to mind. One, maybe the shark was impaired. Maybe parasitic copiapods could have infested the eyes, turning it blind, and meaning that this shark was going for anything that it could in this deep water environment. Another, is that it's using its electroreception to pick up on electrical signals created by the submarine and thinking that that's a prey item. The third, and something that I noticed, is that there's more than one shark in this clip, which means that some form of social behavior could be driving these sharks to compete with each other to try and get as much prey as possible. In order to figure this out, I had to talk to a deep sea parasitic expert. This is a deep sea isopod. How does this attach onto a 15, 20 foot long shark, chew on its eyeballs and turn it blind? They've got 14 hooked legs, which makes it really easy for them to attach. And it's a permanent attachment, is that correct? Yes. So one of my hypotheses is that a big isopod, more likely a parasitic copepod, could latch on to the eyes of the six scale sharks. That would lead them to becoming blind. The sharks then are more desperate for food because eyesight is now not a factor and they have to rely on other senses. They pick up the electrical signals that are being, being emitted by the sub and go, whoa, this might be a big prey item, so I'm gonna go give it an investigatory bite. Oh yeah, so if, if we can get a close up look at that shark's eye, you'd be able to tell if there's still a copepod on its eye. They're pretty visible, or you'd be able to see the damage left behind by one of those parasites. With dark, cloudy eyes, something like that. Yeah. Okay, so we need to look a little bit more closely at the shark's eyes. Yeah. And right there, you have a crystal clear look at this perfect, crisp, blue eyeball. So that means, quite simply, these sharks have not had parasitic infestations, which means sight is not one of the factors for why they could be attacking the sub. Now, when you look at a submarine like this, it's pretty obvious that it's putting out a massive amount of electrical signal. However, as a biologist, I can tell you that sharks like hammerheads can detect such minute traces of electrical signature that they can figure out how to dig up a stingray in the sand while avoiding something like a crab that they don't want to eat. So the idea that one of these sharks somehow had mistaken this giant electrical machine for a prey item, to me, is quite simply preposterous. So as I watched through this video, I actually noticed something quite interesting. Based on certain scarring on the left-hand side, you can see that there are actually two different individual animals. When predators are competing for resources, it means it drives them into a state of near panic where they need to eat as much as they can, as quickly as they can, so the other animal doesn't get all the food. Now, what could be happening here is as these two sharks are realizing that they're competing with each other, they're both driven into a state of desperation to grab as much food as possible so that the other one doesn't get it. 
this happens in certain shark social behaviors in such an extreme manner that it can actually change the whole dynamic in the water. Now, while this may be the known case in salmon sharks, makos, great whites, this has never been documented in deep water benthic sharks like this. So that means we still don't have an answer as to why the shark actually chose to attack the submarine. Now, as I watch the video over and over, I realize something that may not be apparent. You see the bait here? As you play the video, it's actually running back and snowing down over the machine. Now, when you think about the fact that these animals are here to feed, they're chewing on bait, and the bait is coming directly towards the submarine due to the current, that means that these animals are following this chum slick and anything that they bump into may be considered the main target meal. So in other words, what I think is happening is the bait's getting all stirred up by the sharks, there's excitement from the sub being there and the electrical stimuli, there's a couple sharks working together, and as that bait is hailing down on top of the submarine, the sharks are moving with the current, bumping into the sub, and taking what we call an investigatory bite going, is this food, is this something I can eat? They're realizing it's not, which is why they're not continuing to attack the sub. And fortunately, no people and no sharks were harmed during what I would consider to be a one in a million encounter. <laughs>